A bummer of an update tonight to a story we've been following now for months. Hastings Creamery closed for good on Friday after 110 years in business. The closure doesn't just impact the people who worked at the creamery over the years. It also means 45 farms in Wisconsin and Minnesota whose milk was processed by that creamery are now left in limbo. Sammy has more on what's next. On a day like this. It's, uh, it's nice that people can come here and get some cold ice cream on a hot day. Hastings Dairy Store. It's delicious. Is busy. Three dollars. Manager Jamie Broskoff. Yep. Yeah. Says it's more than heat bringing people in. Friday was their last day. She tells us the century old Hastings Creamery shut down last week. They came to work last week and were told we're closing tomorrow. In June, the Metropolitan Council cut the creamery off from the sewer after it said it leaked thousands of gallons of milk and cream into the system. We were kind of been working with them for several months to try to find options to keep them going. Tom Peterson, the commissioner for the Minnesota Department of Agriculture, says he thought the creamery was heading in the right direction after passing several inspections. But I think with uh, just some of the uh, challenges the dairy industry is facing right now, and the, the plant being a little bit of an older plant and their wastewater issues, uh, the um, challenges just added up to too much. We reached out to the owners to see what would happen with their employees and nearly 50 dairy farmers from Minnesota and Wisconsin who sold to them. They never responded. For the dairy farmers in Minnesota that I've been talking to, it's it's been a really rough three months. Lucas Showstrom, the executive director at Minnesota Milk Producers Association, says it will be hard for farmers to get a buyer for their product. That's partially due to low prices, uh, partially due to just the, uh, the processing capacity we've had in the upper Midwest in recent months. And this is all the milk that's left. Jamie. That's, that's the end. Once this is gone, no more milk from the Hastings Creamery. Says the store's future is uncertain. It's, you know, kids to support and paying a mortgage and car payments, and stuff like that. Brings in people to the community and it's nice to know where your milk's coming from. Community members want to see it up and running again, and the state says it's looking for buyers. It makes me sad because I usually I actually come here and buy at least one to two crates of buttermilk every time. The Met Council said in a statement that it has worked with the creamery for months and it will continue doing so to try to find some resolution to keep Hastings safe and support the creamery and its employees. Sammy Solina, Care 11 News.